okay let me okay we also need to to calculate now okay we now need to calculate the average normalized relative permeability of oil and average normalized relative permeability of water just like what we did before but before we haven't used the normalized relative permeability in this case we will consider or we will use the normalized relative permeability but the calculation is exactly the same we have summation there and summation at the denominator okay and both for the relative permeability of oil and relative permeability of water okay so for the numerator here it's the summation of the multiplication of thickness multiplied by absolute permeability and the normalized oil saturation for each core sample and for the denominator it's the summation of the thick of the computation between or the product between the thickness and the absolute permeability for each core sample so again i borrow the thickness and the absolute permeability for each core sample okay and i just use this okay kro star at a and then kro star for b and kro star for c okay i just take the previous result okay here i take that from here and there i can take from table B for the normalized relative permeability. And lastly, here I take that from there. Okay, so you create this, it's very easy. And then you just, in my case, I just calculated step by step. So I use this exactly the same for the normalized water saturation. And I just calculate thickness multiplied the absolute permeability multiplied by the normalized relative permeability of oil. I do that for each normalized water saturation, for each core sample, for each phase. Oil, water for core sample A, color it yellow, and then oil, water for core sample B, let me color it blue, and oil and water for the core sample C, let me color it green. Okay, all right, so now we can calculate the relative permeability, normalized relative permeability of oil and water average. And I will use this formula. Let me put it there. It's very easy. Let's focus from this range. Okay, and then So there, the, you know, the summation between this multiplication for each core sample, A and B and C, for each phase, oil in this case, and divided by the summation of the, you know, the product of thickness and the absolute permeability. So you cut this and then you do that for the water okay and then you can construct the you know this the horizontal axis is the normalized water saturation and the vertical axis are for the you know normalized oil saturation or normalized relative permeability of oil and normalize relative permeability of water. Okay. And yeah, to, to make it better, maybe I can color it green. 
and then this for the water i can color it blue okay and then yeah for the marker as well let's fill it with blue okay and then this let's color it green instead perfecto all right so it's very easy so far and last i think it's when okay so this is this the normalized normalized version of the water saturation oil relative permeability and the water relative permeability but we need to denormalize it okay to come up with the representative you know relative permeability curve and we do that here it's a little bit tricky 